It may seem impossible, but it's easy to use Procreate to create a seamless repeating pattern. Whether you're wanting to create patterns for fun, for your art, or to sell them as fabrics or wallpapers, this tutorial will walk you through how to create professional repeating patterns in Procreate. You will need to begin with a few elements already illustrated that you can use to arrange your seamless pattern. As you can see, I have sketched up a few flowers and leaves. Note that I have created a few large elements and a few small elements. This will help with filling up your design. I also recommend that you have a specific colour palette so your pattern works well when put together. You will want to begin on a perfectly square canvas as it will make it the easiest to arrange all of your elements. I, along with other artists I've seen, will always recommend a canvas size of 10 inch by 10 inch. You will want to go and duplicate the canvas with your illustrated elements as this will be the canvas you will use to create the pattern. The reason we use duplicate and not the original is so we can preserve your original work and allow you to make edits to your elements if necessary. If you're unsure how to duplicate your canvas, simply go to your gallery and tap the select button at the top right corner of your screen. Then choose the canvas and select duplicate. You also have the option of renaming the canvas, which I highly recommend to save confusion. The best way to be able to create a seamless pattern is being able to move each element individually. So if you already sketched each element in individual layers, you can skip this step. However, if your elements are on one layer, simply select the S-shaped ribbon at the top left of the page, then select the freehand selection from the bottom menu. Using your pencil, draw around one of your elements and select to cut and paste it onto its own layer. Repeat this process for all of the elements, making sure to go to the original layer each time to ensure you're cutting from the correct layer. This step may be tedious, but it's worth it, and next time you will likely illustrate them individually. Now it's time to arrange the pattern blocks. The key to creating a seamless pattern is the continuity of your elements. You are, in a way, creating a puzzle piece with your pattern blocks and you want the elements to flow when you duplicate them. You will want to make sure some pieces are over the left and top edge. These elements will re-emerge on the opposite edge of the block. This ensures the elements fit together when you duplicate the pattern. This also creates the seamless appearance. Here is how you can achieve this. Let's start with the large element being cut off of the left hand side. Hide all of your element layers except the one you're working on and make a duplicate of the visible element by swiping left and tapping duplicate. Then hide your duplicated layer. You want to hide the duplicated layer so we can modify it to be cut into two different pieces. We need a copy of the intact element so we can use it for other parts of the pattern. Select the visible element and move it to the top left side of your canvas using the transform tool. Don't move it over the edge yet though, as your goal is to have it re-emerge on the other side. To achieve this, create a new layer and fill this with a full background colour to use as a guide for moving the element off the edge. You can do this by choosing a dark colour and dragging it to fill the background. You will then want to tap on the background layer, tap N and turn the opacity down to approximately 30%. The goal is to be able to see the element as well as the background colour. Then, group the background and element layer together by selecting them and tapping group. We then duplicate this once again and hide the original. Make sure the visible group is selected. Select the transform tool and turn on the snapping feature at the bottom left of the transform menu. This feature helps your element snap perfectly to guidelines. Now it's time to move the element to anywhere you wish along the left hand side of the page. Once you've done this, you want to turn the visibility back on for its duplicate layer below and repeat the same process before dragging it to the right hand side until it locks in with the edge of the other layer group. You'll know it's locked in when the background is seamlessly one colour. We don't need the background anymore so you can swipe left on them and delete them. Lastly, pinch the two flower layers together to merge. This is the essence of creating the pattern. You'll want to repeat this on the top edge before continuing. This step is probably the easiest. You've got two large elements that cut off at the edges, so it's time to fill the pattern in with your remaining elements. I suggest working from the largest element to the smallest so you can have a better idea of the overall composition and areas that will need to be filled with smaller elements later on. Turn off the snapping feature and simply use the transform tool to adjust the sizing and placement of all of your elements until you are happy with how it looks. Once you're done, you're ready to turn the page into a seamless pattern.
Once again, you'll want to create a copy of your canvas and title this one pattern. You should now have three canvases for the one pattern. Open up the pattern canvas, go to the layers panel and pinch all of the individual layers together in one layer. This can't be undone once you've made adjustments, so this is why we have the other copy as a backup. Now you want to resize your canvas. To do this, tap the wrench iron at the top left of your screen and select crop and resize. Our canvas was originally 10 inch by 10 inch, so we're going to make it 20 inch by 20 inch. Your pattern block should be in the bottom right corner now and it's time to stack the blocks. First, you want to duplicate your layer before selecting the transform tool and turning the snapping feature back on. Now, simply stack the block on top of itself till it snaps perfectly in place. If you've done everything correctly, your elements should seamlessly fit together. Go to your layers panel and merge those two layers before duplicating once again and repeating the movement process so the canvas is full. And that's it, you have a seamless pattern. I hope you enjoyed the process of creating your very own seamless pattern on Procreate. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.